Janome. Hi, my name is Ann Hine, and I'm the Embroidery Software Specialist for Genome America. Today, we'll be talking about the Embroidery Link app. This app is available for your CM17, and it comes in both Apple and Android versions. So you can go to your App Store or your Android Store to get it. It's also available for iPhone and Android phone, so you have choices there. There is a manual available on our Genome Global site. If you go to the global site and then go under software apps, you'll find the embroidery link title there. And under there is a downloadable manual. So let's open it up and take a look. When you first open it up, this opening page, you may want to go under preferences and change from metric to US or US to metric, whichever you prefer. Under default hoop, you can pick the default hoop that you would like to design with. Now this hoop, when you select this, this is when you would select an empty workspace and this hoop would come up. Uh, when you're bringing in an embroidery design, an embroidery design comes in with the hoop that it was designed for, but on this page, you can go ahead and change it to another hoop. So let's look inside. When you work into this area, this is where you would choose your designs. And on the left-hand side, if I was connected to my CM17 wirelessly, I would see my CM17 listed there, and I would see the designs that are in the machine that come with your machine. I would also be able to access the built-in designs, anything I've saved to the built-in area, and any USB stick I have in the machine at that time. So I have available a lot of things to work with. Across the top, we have a grayed out sewing machine. That's because I am not connected wirelessly at the moment. The next one over is a blank page for designing from the very basic on up if you wanted to do that. The next one is uh, how you look at your page and then you can do your selections and so forth there. So I'm gonna come in here. I'm gonna choose out of these sample designs, this J. There will be other tools that come across the top depending on what you have selected as well. So when I have this design here, I have two choices. If the send to machine was highlighted, I could send it directly to my machine or I could go and edit this design. If I sent it to my machine, the app itself then turns into the monitor program. So I can see my design stitching out on my device. When I leave, take it out of the room, I'll be able to keep in contact with my machine. When you bring up a design on the screen of your machine, either from a USB or one that was built into the machine, and you open, open your app, you'll find the app will change over into the monitor program as well. So let's go to the edit design. When it comes in, you can see it comes in on the hoop that it was designed for, though I could come right in here to my hoop icon, which is the second one from the right. And from here, I can choose to change my hoop or I can rotate my hoop. So I'm gonna squeeze this down so you can see. I could rotate around if I wanted to. And then the other one is the fit to hoop. Now this one here, um, let me try this one here. When you do fit to hoop, you can see not every design is going to fit to hoop properly. So you may want to give it a try for your design and then see if that's the best. There are some designs it works very, very well with. And this, this was not one of them. Once I'm done with the hoop selection, I can touch where the finger is. This is your selection tool. And when you touch the selection tool, you have the clothesline appear at the top. And this is your sequence menu. You can pull things off of here and change the sequence of them if you would like. At the top left, we have our zoom function. And you have two different ways you can look at your designs. You can see them in the photorealistic or, or not, and you can uh, move it to see the design right front and center in your hoop. You can also turn on a grid, turn off a grid. Let's put it back to the photorealistic, and I'm just going to move it down into the sizing. Now, if I want to select this, I can, I like to do the draw around my piece, or I could select it from the toolbar up at the top. And if I just wanted one of those, I could select one. So I can do, do my uh, lasso around there or I can pick from the top. Now, when you select, you get your sizing arrow. So I could pull it 
up a little bit and change the size of this if I wanted to. When I tap on those, I get my rotate and I have a little bullseye in the center. It will rotate around that bullseye so I could put it anywhere and it will rotate around. I could skew my design a little bit if I wanted to as well. Once I'm done, I can tap on the screen and I have my design. Now this one, when I sized it up, it does have a little bit of an issue there. And I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm not going to stitch this design. But I wanted to show you some other things that happen when you have your design selected. Down at the bottom, I have a density tab. So I can change the density of my design by sliding the slide bar along there. And I could turn it on and off if I wanted to work with the density or not. And it does change slightly when I move this. You can see how there are a few more stitches in there. All right, let's go back to the, to the selection. To the right of the selection is our edit the stitch tab. And when I uh, edit this, I can come in here and I can uh, create a stop with the sewing machine. I can create a cut area. Um, the next two over is where I could remove a stitch or add a stitch, or I can travel through my design. So here it's traveling through my design and I could stop at any stitch. We're gonna come back to this because I have something to show you on working with the scissor and the stop. In the next tab, we have our design and you can change the colors of your design using the chart on the side. Sometimes this chart is closed and there's a tiny little arrow to the very left, which will open it up and it'll give you the, the colors of each part of that design. And if I wanted to change this part, to green I could and then I would select the blue outer part and I could select any color in here and change that on here so let's go I think I'm going to do this blue here with that that funky green moving on from there let's go back to our selection I can use the lettering so there are 12 fonts available and you just select the one you want click in the text area you have some options on sizing. So if I wanted to increase the size, I could use the slider. So let's get some text in there. And I don't want a capital, so I'm gonna back up here, turn my shift off. There we go. And if I wanna change the size, I can just slide it along there. I also have some alignment tools. If I wanted it to be on a line, I will get these little pieces here and I could put it on a line. And now I put it outside a little bit. Or if I wanted to put it on an arc, either arc it down or arc it up, I could do that as well. And I think what I'll do is I'm gonna select all of this and move it over to the center here. There we go. And I could go back. There are other alignment tools here. You could align it on the line to the right, to the left, and to center. And you could go down or you can go up on that. You can apply a special tie off on your letters here and a, a break apart also. And if you needed to change the colors of any of the parts, you could do that as well. All right, so I'm done with the, the lettering. The next part I wanna show you is um, the array tool. But before we go to array, I wanna go back and show you something with the stitches. I wanna bring in another design. So I'm going to use the import button up here in the top right. And I'm gonna go back to my designs and pick a design from AccuSketch. Now AccuSketch is our drawing app and you can very easily bring in designs from AccuSketch and edit them in here as well. So I brought it in, it's too big for my design, so I'm just going to use my corner handles and move it down so it fits in here. And then I wanna align it right under, I lost a letter here somewhere. Let's see what happened to my, oh, hang on a second, let's undo this. When I was touching this, I grabbed the M Let's see if I can put it back. There we go. So I do not want to select that part. I just want my design 
So I'm going to come to the beginning of my design and select away this way. There are other ways to select, but I'm just going to grab them this way. I think it'll get all of them. And you can see I can slide along the clothesline. You want to be careful when you slide along as you may pull something out of the order. And you don't want to uh, do that if you some things may stitch before they need to be stitched or on top of something and so forth. So I'm just going to bring this down here and put it right below there. That looks good. And I'm going to select the whole thing and slide it up. There we go. So the one thing I was talking about is you can edit your stitches. Now I could have gone into the J and edited the J, but what I want to do is I want to edit parts, the parts of my jar. So I'm going to select my jar. I'm going to go to my stitches and I'm going to zoom way in and I'm going to touch the part I want to adjust right here on the end. You can see it's sticking out of my jar. I've selected it. And if I hit the, the minus here, it will take those stitches away and pull it back. And then I can create, by pulling forward, I could create a stitch so it ends up on that line. Now over here, I have another area that I may want to fix on my, my circle. And when I get over here, I want to go in close and see where I'm at. There we go. And it's going to remove them and I'll, I can add in a line there. Let's see what it looks like. Kind of gave an extra thing in there. So you can go ahead and edit these out. Some of my lines um, I may want to leave, but it really can clean up some of your AccuSketch designs if you should have any uh, that you need to do that with. Or in an embroidery, sometimes you have a stitch that falls out or you, maybe you need to add a stitch. You can also add a stitch to fill in an area. You have to add them in a stitch at a time, but it is available. So when I'm done with this design, I can send it to the machine but I'm not wirelessly connected. So there's no uh, machine up in the top right corner. So I'm going to show you, I can save this. I can change the name of this and I can save it in any of my folders. So maybe I want to save it under my create folder and I'm going to change it to uh, in here, J sewing. There we go. And save. Now it'll be in my design folders under, I think I put it under create. There it is off to the right there. All right. So let's go back because I wanted to show you how the array tool works. I want to go get a different design and I'm going to come into here into the floral design. I'm going to pick this fringe design and edit design. And it's right here. And I'm going to change my hoop really quickly to a, a little bit bigger hoop. Let's go there. And I'm just gonna take my design and I can move my hoop around because I want my design to be in the top right corner. Then I'm going to select the array tool. I can pick here how far apart I want them. So maybe I want them 0.2 apart and uh, going right to left, maybe I want four and going up and down, I want them uh, 0.2 again. And here, I think I want four as well. Let me go back here for and then I want to select reduce layers what reduce layers will do is once I apply this it will organize all the things that are going to stitch first and they'll be first in the sequence all the things that stitch second and so forth I won't have to reorganize it so I'm going to hit reply or apply and I can see it's too big for my hoop but I can resize all of them just by picking the corner and adjusting it there so there are my little fringe designs all ready to go in my hoop. I can do other things with these if I want, change colors of certain ones, but you can see on the clothesline, all the colors have been grouped together now. Okay, there we go. The last thing is our slow redraw. So you can see your design being stitched out. Here you, you can see it with just the um, crosshair moving like you would on the screen of your machine. And if you wanted to see it with the foot, you can 
would do like this and your your hoop would move. And I find, to me, I find that a little bit uh, making me a little bit seasick, but that's okay. And I'll go back to this one. So you can see it's going to stitch this first part of my design, all of them, all the way down. And it's stitching them one after the other in a nice order on my hoop. We'll wait till we see what the last one does. And when you're watching it stitch out, if you wanted to change the order that they're stitching, and this is a very good order because it's going left to right and down one and then right to left. So it's uh, the sequence of this will make your machine stitch on a nice, smooth and a faster pace. Also, OK, so that is our embroidery link app.